Hi, my name is Tom Clark, helping Motion Industries deliver brands you count on from people you trust. We invite you to watch and learn about some of our brands you can count on with the goal of helping you with your practical application. For 125 years, Garlock has been committed to innovating products to meet customer needs and protect their investments. Following this commitment of innovation, the Shaft Grounded Isolator, the SGI, was launched in January of 2011 and won the 2011 Gold Award for Plant Engineering Product of the Year. This video explains how the SGI will extend the life of your variable frequency drive controlled motor. Have you ever been in a manufacturing facility and heard an electric motor that sounds like this? This whine, often accepted as normal, comes from the variable frequency drive controlled motor where the bearings have become fluted. This motor is on path towards premature bearing failure. However, it didn't always sound this way. This is how it sounded when it was first purchased. So what's the difference? Both motors were run for the same amount of time. Both motors were controlled by a variable frequency drive. However, the second motor uses an Aegis shaft grounding ring to conduct the damaging VFD induced voltages away from the shaft. So how does bearing fluting occur? To completely understand how fluting occurs, there are two basic assumptions we need to accept. One, due to the way variable frequency drives control motor speed using pulse width modulation, Dray voltage will accumulate on the motor shaft, as shown on the oscilloscope display. The second assumption we need to accept is the fact that electricity will seek the path of least resistance towards ground. So what does the oscilloscope show? It can be seen in the oscilloscope display, a plot of shaft voltage versus time. Every spike on this plot represents a voltage discharge or spark that is occurring between the shaft and the bearing race. Thousands of these sparks occur every second, which is responsible for EDM. What is EDM? EDM, also known as electrical discharge machining, is what happens each and every time a spark occurs. With thousands of sparks occurring every second, a pit or a microscopic crater is formed in the bearing race. After only a few hours of operation, a frosted appearance can be seen on the bearing race, as shown in stage 1. As the roller or ball bearing passes over these craters, it begins to push the material from the edge of the pit to form a ridge or a flute. As this operation occurs over and over again, the telltale high-pitched sound develops. As EDM continues to erode the bearing race, vibration develops and the energy efficiency eventually decreases to the point where a motor rebuild or even a replacement is required. So how can EDM be prevented? Based on the previously mentioned assumption 2, that electricity seeks the path of least resistance to ground, we can use the Garlock Closure SGI to do so. The Closure Shaft Grounded Isolator uses the EST Aegis Shaft Grounding Ring in conjunction with the Closure Guardian Bearing Isolator. In order to protect the motor bearings from VFD-induced EDM, we can use the SGI to provide an electrically conductive path between the motor shaft and the motor frame. In order to demonstrate the benefits of the SGI, the use of a variable frequency drive is used to control a high efficiency one horsepower motor. The VFD sends an electrical signal to the motor which attempts to approximate the traditional three phase sine wave on which the motor was originally designed to operate. Since the VFD cannot precisely replicate the three-phase sine wave, residual electrical potential is present. The shaft stores this capacitive coupled voltage as shown on the scope. This voltage can range anywhere from 10 to 40 volts. Once the SGI is activated, providing a path of least resistance to ground, it can be seen on the oscilloscope that the voltage essentially zeroes out. Once a bearing has been fluted due to EDM, the use of an SGI will not recover the damage that has occurred. The SGI is to only be used with new bearings that have not already been damaged beyond repair.
Garlock Closure offers the shaft grounded isolator in three different configurations. First, the SGI is a solid bearing isolator to be used during rebuilds and new installations when the motor shaft is readily accessible. However, when field repairs or retrofits are required, the SGI-180 is a split bearing isolator that can be installed without mechanically disconnecting all downstream equipment, therefore saving valuable time. When heavy environmental contamination is present, the SGI-MT is the best option. It uses Closure's unique microcellular foam to exclude airborne contamination.